My name is Tasha Lampkin, CEO and fashion designer of Tashi. Tashi is a Christian clothing line that promotes modesty but in a fashionable way. Today I'll be doing a discussion about modesty and fashion and joining me in this discussion are my beautiful friends. First I'll talk to the ladies about their views of modesty and fashion, then I will talk to the men about their views of modesty and fashion. Lastly, I'll bring them all together for the ultimate discussion modesty in fashion and by the way if you wonder if you're wondering what I'm wearing right now I'm wearing a romper by Tashi yes it's a romper not a dress see modesty is fashionable so let's get started you guys bye Lord, I thank you all. I mean, I thank everyone for um, for coming here and um, joining me in this discussion and promoting um, your glorifying your name and uh, spreading your gospel. And um, I I'm very grateful for everyone, and I'm grateful for um, to see. How many? So how much support I got for um, this event that I'm doing right now, and I thank you all. Hi everyone. Hi. 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 How's everyone doing today? Great. 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 Thank you all for coming. So earlier I prefaced you all about um, what I'll be discussing today, which will be modesty in fashion. So when you hear the word modest, what is your first inclination? shouldn't be taken in um, a narrow view and I feel like um, it's more in depth you know it's uh, basically illustrating that don't seek attention for yourself seek God's attention so um, with implementing that into fashion I believe it's going against societal views okay and um, and you know, currently our society is all about sex sales. Okay, so I know for me personally, um, with my clothing line, I promote modesty and fashion. So, some of my friends or people that I know believes in Christ, they um in and out of the world, and you know, it's kind of conflicted between uh, societal views and God views about how, you know, how we should present ourselves in dress. So, this is when I ask you guys this question. When, if you are that person, what type of attention do you seek when you wear certain clothes? Like say, like for a red carpet event or a party or what have you. I don't think I necessarily dress for events for attention. 
and find dress for comfort. And depending on what the event is, you know, you go according to that. However, it's all about comfort. Like, it's the difference between a female wearing a pair of flats and then throwing a pair of heels. And it's like, it helps with the, not necessarily the self esteem, but it, it makes a different posture when you walk, that little jump, jump, different swag, as they call it, mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, not necessarily attention for me, it's more like comfort. Okay. All right. dressing if you well if you have like a low car, low cut garment and a very short dress do you feel like um, do you think about God um, in that sense I everything I do I guess I would say for me is on a personal you know it's I guess I guess with time and just experience you know and your body type plays a lot I mean I personally my body type limits you to certain things, but me personally, like, I like a balance. Um, when coming to God, I guess God is within me, so anything I do is a representation of Him, so I try to definitely have a balance. Some things may push a limit, but I definitely make sure that I represent myself well. I know in some senses, I might get looked at, oh, well, you're a Christian, you're wearing this, but I definitely feel like you have a good balance of life, a good balance of understanding that it is acceptable. I don't really see, like, if I decide to wear something low cut, that if I, you know, wear it with, or pair it with something else that would cover it to a certain extent, it should be a different problem. I guess everything is, has a time and place. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I would take in consideration if I'm attending church, I would not go with a low V top. But, you know, if I wore something with, per se, a skirt, but with a slit, but the slit to a certain extent, where I feel is appropriate, I will wear it then to church. So I guess it's really like all about balance. I feel like with dressing, it's a balance, just with life. So. Okay. So. You probably also uh, how you carry yourself exactly. when you wear those things, just how you behave. Like if you are going to some place, a club or. Something. Oh, sorry. You have to introduce yourself. I'm sorry, I'm Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> if you are going some place, you know where you would wear something like a low V or a little bit shorter skirt. Um, being a Christian woman, you know, you would do it within the limits, it wouldn't be crazy, but if you are going to do it, I guess also how you carry yourself, you know, you're not, you know, if you have 
up on the thing, you're not going to be loud out there, tension roaring where everyone would see this. Like, you know, you carry yourself also. Where if it is a little bit shorter, you know, you're still looking classy because you're behaving classy. Okay. All right. So basically, just collectively, um, what I'm getting from um, everyone's perspective on this topic. It's how you feel, like your mood. Yeah. So, but as a Christian, aren't we supposed to, like, like, like I, you know, stated before, like, aren't we supposed to see God's attention? I don't know. Like God's, you know, like, you know, like. Again, the two are like mutually feel, exclusive. Yeah. You can't say mood and seeking attention because we. Well, I think we all agree like, that. You don't dress for attention. Right. Yeah. You dress for comfort. And I guess I know that if you get up in this cloudy, you don't want to wear bright yellow or green. Maybe you want to wear black in a new kind of situation. Not necessarily, okay, let's kind of see what's going to get the most attention kind of thing. Right. And it's awkward. And it, but when I say attention, maybe, I mean like, okay. When you dress in the morning, it's your mood, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And weather. And weather, okay. <laughs> so, if something, if you're going to a club, if you're going to a party, and you're wearing a short skirt, you're going, you're basically taking in your mood. So you're not thinking like, hmm, would God want, you know, will he be, like, how does he feel? Well, if, if, that, if, you, if you're taking that point to yeah. it, to yeah. wearing a short skirt to a club and you're a Christian, then then you should then say, I'm a Christian, Should I do I even belong in this, in this yeah. club? Yeah. I think yeah. that's a bigger discussion. Yeah. But um, I, I understand what you're saying in terms of, you know, when we get dressed, what would God say about what we're wearing? But, you know, the difference between Christianity and a lot of religions in the world it's a, it's a lot more flexible, and we have a lot more options than necessarily Islamic women or Muslim women. So it's our prerogative to decide what we are comfortable in and what we how we want to express ourselves. Yeah. I don't get dressed to try to catch the eyes of somebody else. I get dressed because of what I have in my closet. I like to be fancy. I like, you know big hair, high heels, um, but how I get dressed for work, how I get dressed to hang out with my friends, how I get dressed to hang out with my boyfriend, how I get dressed to go to church are all are all different, but they're still all facets of me, a Christian woman. Okay. And I, I took need to piggyback off of that, um, Raquel, by the way. Um, um, you mentioned the word appropriate, and I think that it's just a matter of being appropriate for the situation. Yeah. And, what venue you're going to, you take that into consideration, as Christine also mentioned, and you dress appropriate for that venue. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to move on to the next question. And thank you, guys. I'm going to move on to the next question. I'm going to display two images for you all and um, pass this around. Beyonce and I have Lisa Bonet at the two, two, 2015 Year's Okay? Alright. So there was an uproar about these two outfits. And what do you what are you ladies like what are your views of these latest ladies attire? Okay. Do you, who do you think brought it? I'm gonna jump in real quick because this is right here. So, Met Gala basically is the Grammys of fashion. So, henceforth, artistically, for me, Lisa Bonet, I think she hit it under her nail. But at the end of the day, Beyonce did sell the show because she wore the garment well. They both did. Now, there's a different viewpoint you're gonna look depending on the person. Society would say, hands down, Beyonce killed it, which personally, I feel she did. Um, artistically, I feel Lisa Bonet wore this event because the theme was a Chinese-based theme for one of the, the new exhibits. Chinese also. white time. Thank you very much um, for giving me the title um, for the event. Now, do I feel both of them killed it? Yes, because Lisa Bonet, I felt she was in her normal aesthetic. She wore something I felt that suited her personality.
Gabby as well as Beyonce. Is Beyonce pushing the envelope? Yes, but I still felt like she kept it classy and she looked fabulous. So henceforth, that's my personal that. Okay. So anyone else? are interesting and very very pretty I wouldn't necessarily say classy like I see everything except the you know the obvious things that's covered up but uh, yeah that's where I guess you go with the whole God thing because she's a southern girl who yeah she's a girl she started in a church singing yeah. and everything else who has a daughter so um yeah I'm going with Lisa on this one don't get me wrong I'm not, not knocking whatever she chooses to do but I personally I think that's a little too much. Yeah, I agree also. I think that. Oh, you have to oh, I'm sorry. introduce yourself. <laughs> um, I agree also with. Um, Trisha? Trisha. She's very extra verb in her style, so that's something that probably suits her better, and that makes her more comfortable. Okay. So, um, and Lisa Bonet, she's a different, she's very different she's in her different style. She's a different individual. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? Well, this is my first time seeing Lisa and this, and yeah. I was actually pretty surprised to see. Oh, introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Kazim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty surprised to see Beyonce out there. I mean... To me, she looked like everyone else. Jennifer Lopez, Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if I had to choose between both, I would say Beyonce. Beyonce? Okay. <laughs> I mean, she had everybody talking the next day, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. But is it about everyone talking? Yeah, yeah. That's not, that's nothing bad. Yeah, like, not, not all talk is good talk kind yeah. of situation, you know? Like, what are they saying? Like, it's one yeah. thing for someone to talk, but what are they really saying? And you're probably thinking, who cares what people think? But yeah, we do. Um, you hear anyone say, at the end of the day, like, you walk into a room and everybody seems to get quiet or they start whispering. You're going to wonder, are they talking about me in the back of your mind? You might think, I don't care if people think about me. I'm confident. I'm good with it. But no, you care. You wonder. You think about it. So, yeah, I don't want any talk. That's the case. Mm. I have something to add. Um, Every scene again. Um, I would actually go with Lisa Bonet's outfit. One, because we're talking about modesty and fashion and Christian women, or men. Um, and I felt like it was a little out of character seeing Beyonce in this gown. I love the piece. It's very artistic. But um, you don't have the other piece with you. I'm showing it now. But um, compared to, what's her name, Kim Kardashian's gown. It was more covered up, like most of her skin, as someone else here said. Um, I would, I felt like she's out of character in that piece. Mm -hmm. And I would feel, as a Christian woman, a little convicted. Like, I have gowns where I have some skin maybe a little back out, a little cleavage, but not the majority of my body. I almost feel like you're just walking out into the world naked. Okay. That's a naked piece. It's an artistic piece, but is it an artistic piece that you want to wear out on a red carpet? Okay. And are you representing 
the world or are you representing God? Like, who are you representing? Like, what is your character representing in the peace that you walk out in every day? So, that's what I'm just thinking about when I, when I see her in that peace. Can I add to that? That, um, well, a couple of things. One, this isn't Beyonce's first time at the Met Gala. When she first had her baby, she actually wore a dress by the same designer, and it was equally as revealing. It was just black, mm -hmm. and everyone applauded her mm -hmm. and praised her for wearing it because she had just recently had a baby, right? Mm -hmm. Yet, fast forward today, you know, I actually don't have an opinion either way because I feel for the event, it's extravagant. Like, you know, you go, you know, excuse my French, balls to the walls on, you know, whatever it is that you wear. So I have no opinion either way. And, you know, for people to, in my mind to have an issue with this dress versus any of Beyonce's concert outfits, and I've been to many Beyonce uh, concerts, as I'm sure other people have seen the footage, so to be upset in this one moment captured in time, mm -hmm. and not then have an opinion about anything else, I think is you know pretty contradictory. Okay. You know what's the thing? It's not even about us contradicting or saying anything. Because I personally don't like anything that shows like her skin. Personally, she's mm -hmm. married. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. However, it's like she even admit herself. Like when she's performing or she's doing the stuff, it's, she's not Beyonce. She's Sasha Fierce, as she says. So this is not really her. This is like a alter ego that she she's brings out because yeah, yeah, Joe Public right. prefers it and we applaud her for it. So she's not Beyonce. Um, ladies, models, can you please come out? Have a scenario. So at the moment we had a party, right? Yeah, yes. your party. friend's birthday party. This is what's gonna be, right? It's gonna be Nina because I'm like, it's going down tonight. And it's not going to be her because I'm like, I'm going to have to take her out on a date. Wow. <laughs> so, so, that's, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> I, have, I have a totally different view on this, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's do it. Hold on. That's that, like, right now? <laughs> like, that's just what you look at, right? It's like, <laughs> you gonna have to take her out on a date. <laughs> wait. <laughs> but you know what? But, you, but what if? What if? But what if? What if? She's not really that deal it's, like it's, that. It's, Beyonce you know, dresses like that. He, he's, they're gonna he's an R&B singer, but she like, knows yo, the industry. Right. She did so that to break the it. internet, mm -hmm. to be relevant. Yeah. Exactly. It wasn't. About the next that's day. all it was. And, it then, wasn't. and when he got with her, he already knew what it was about. It's like he's so saying that she's in the that. industry, so she's gonna wear that. Exactly. If you're in that industry, you know at some point in time you're gonna be wearing. You know what you're dealing with. Inappropriate outfits. But we're saying that we have a different standard. We said we had a different standard. I'm asking When you're an entertainer right now, anything she do, every by, well, well yeah. most people follow, because follow, okay. she's the top dog, so she's she got to make sure she's in your head. Your she's